That's Jeff and Wilma at Budrum, and we're here at, outside the ABC Studios in Maroochydore, and there's a native beehive in under this tree, under this little tree. We're doing a native beehive trap out. I come here on a Monday morning sometime to be interviewed on the radio on a segment, if I can do it, you can do it, with Rob Blackmore. They told me about this native beehive here under the tree. So I determined that the species here was a hocking's eye. Now I had a really weak hive at home of a hocking's eye. I don't know why, but it just weakened out. Even though it had plenty of food in the hive, it had a queen. So I don't know what happened, but anyway, we were going to do it later on after the new year, but the hive that at home was that weak, I didn't think it was going to last that long. So because we had this active hive, yeah, still had a bit of life in it, I bought the hive here, and what we've done, we've put a, a tube in the hole where the hive is, uh, put a heap of silicon around it, and what the silicon does is it also masks over the uh, smell of the hive. They come back to this location, but they can't smell the entrance of the hive. I put this box upside down with the nest exposed. The bees were really attracted to one of the rocks, uh, one of these rocks here that had a lot of the hive odour on it. So I put the rock under it and, and that attracted the bees to my nest. Anyway, we got a lot, of, a lot of the bees in the box. That happened yesterday, which was Christmas Day. Day in between family and all that sort of thing, we managed to come down here and do this. Now what I did with the tube, we have a, a funnel on the end made with aluminium fly wire. I've got the end of the funnel, it's a little bit difficult for the bees to get through. They do get through, as you can see, but because it's difficult for them to come out, it's more difficult for them to go back in. So that's what you want. You want to make the end of the funnel yeah, good enough for them to come out, but difficult for them to go back in. And as you can see here, there's always a few bees in the gauze. And you can see, I'm not sure whether the camera picks it up, all these bees yes, inside the yes. tube yep. lining up. What size the hive is under the ground, I've got no idea. I think we could probably get a sizable population in this box and then leave the hive be and let the hive build up again. Once you identify the species, Carbonaria or Hocking's Eye, you'll be able to just get a little bit of a starter hive in a box, get a bit of activity at the entrance. The other thing I thought you could do is be, you know, a couple of weeks in advance, put something in front of the entrance, just a sort of a, a false entrance, and let the bees work that entrance for a couple of weeks and then remove that entrance and put it on the outside of the box near the box entrance so that when you put your tube in there and put the silicon around it then then the bees will go straight to that false entrance you made oh, with all the pheromones on with it. all the pheromones on it so when i bought this box down there was hardly any bees in there at all mm, give me a look now let's have a look now this is so exciting now. Look at all the bees in there. Yeah, and you can see all that resin they've put up on the under the lid. That was all clean. Yeah. yeah. They're hard workers, aren't they? Yeah. It's a different story to what it was yesterday morning when we brought it down. It's important to just keep an eye on where the entrance in the tree or whatever that they don't find another exit. I think as long as you've got activity in the entrance at the entrance and you put the entrance of the trap out hive near the, you know, in the vicinity. Entrance to the box. It should be pretty right. Should be pretty right, yeah. Because we're beekeepers, we, we know how to get bees out of a wall or something like that by using a trap out. And I'm just using these same principles on the native bees. You can't get European honey bees out of a house or a a tree without having a lure there to like um, a bit of brood or a queen in a queen cage so you still need to bring something in a hive in order to do a trap out for European honeybees so these are no exception so 
So with these, you still need to bring the start of a hive with a wheat colony in there that you can build up to a really good population. And then if you want to, let the other, let the hive that you're doing the trap out with build up again. So it's just a matter of how long we leave it for now, or how strong we want this hive to get. Yeah, the amount of bees coming out of that tube, I'm just going to leave it there all day and maybe all day tomorrow. We've saved our hive. We've saved our hive and I reckon we'll be able to get another hive out of there in a couple of months time. There's a lot of people excited today because we, the Boxing Day sale is on not far from here, a couple of blocks away. A lot of people excited about their Boxing Day sale. And we're excited about our native bees. And we're excited about our native bees. Yeah, actually, when I came down this morning, there was traffic cops there directing traffic. That's how much traffic there was. Uh, not much else to say, is there? No. Uh, well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.